we're looking at the posterior forearm. And again, rather than get lost in all of these muscles, which is really easy to do, let's actually look up here and find this really wide tendon that goes to a lot of fingers. And let's follow that muscle back to its origin. And what we're looking at when we look at that muscle is the extensor digitorum. In other words, when this muscle contracts, it's going to extend the fingers or digits. Again, here's our radial and our ulnar side. And if we know that these are going to, again, extend the arm, then if we look on the radial side, there are two little muscles. The first one, you can see, is a little bit closer to the hand, so it's not going to be quite as long. So that's called the extensor radialis brevis. Next to, and actually running behind it, is another one. And, and since we had extensor carpi radialis brevis, this one that has to travel further or has a longer tendon, we're going to call that the extensor carpi radialis longus. Now again, keeping in mind our extensor digitorum, follow it again all the way back and always start at the bottom for our landmark. And right next to that, on the ulnar side, we had our extensor carpi ulnaris.